Hi, I'm Francine Jimenez, the Program Manager for Central and Southern Luzon Community Lab of the Philippines um, to Class Innovation Labs. I'm with CARE Philippines. What are your thoughts about the theme of the conference, right? Food security and resilience at the intersection of development and emergency as it relates to your job. So I think it's quite relevant for us to, you know, um, really dip, deep dive into um, the intersection between development and emergency because the communities that we work with exist in that nexus. Um, if we take into consideration how the climate change um, changes the contours of uh, the hazards in our communities, how the different political dynamics or social dynamics in the communities um, are, are, are present, definitely um, our intervention should be able to provide development and humanitarian um, uh, services. If you consider it, um, it's very important that our interventions can be useful for our communities in a development setting and in um, emergency setting. Sustainability could only happen if they see the value of our interventions from both sides or both perspectives. What do you think is the value add um, of these learning meetings, of the knowledge sharing and the knowledge you know, capture around, around these conferences? The world is so wide. There's a lot of developmental projects happening all over the world. But at the same time, um, if you really look at it, there are a lot of similarities in a lot of the developmental projects. So this um, opportunity, this knowledge sharing meetings provides us an opportunity opportunity to exchange notes, you know, exchange uh, our lessons learned, our failures, see how we can improve our own projects coming from the learnings and the failures of others. So this is um, this is a opportunity for us to develop our cheat sheet on how we can, you know, hack a little bit um, the way we work with our communities. And also this is an opportunity for us to be proud of our achievements and be proud of the communities that we work in because uh, without our community's participation, without our community's collaboration, um, our projects won't go anywhere. We won't be really, you know, meeting our objectives and our, our, our targets. So this is a way for us to, you know, strengthen this whole brotherhood and sisterhood of, um, of development workers working in the ground, working in the communities, and also encourage more people to continue supporting development projects. And the last one I have for you is what has been your key takeaway or takeaways um, in the sessions that you've attended and the one that you presented on? Some of the key takeaways or key insights that I got from the sessions that I participated are um, first, um, we, need to, we need to look at our communities as collaborators. Um, we need to learn from their feedback and we need to be uh, very mindful that the feedback that we get from our communities are actually integrated in how we do our projects. I think um, we'll be able to, you know, um, create long-term and sustainable um, uh, development if we if we, we are very conscious about um, collaborating and co-working with our communities. That's one. Secondly, um, we need to learn from the the lessons of our of of similar projects happening in different countries. Um, we cannot exist in silos. Um, organizations can't exist in silos and there's a lot of opportunities to work together, to learn together and move forward from that.